Here's the final segment of my Thanksgiving special. We're gonna end it up, end it off with Jeopardy Deluxe Edition on the Sega Genesis. Let's see how we do this game. take on Erica and John this game in our finale. One daily double up there somewhere in one of these categories. The New Hampshire, Hollywood, American cities, cities, Dickens, and finally poetry. Oh, we get two cities categories up there, huh? Okay. Well, I'm going to go to American cities, and I'll take it for 100. Called the winter baseball capital of the U.S., this city lies across the bay from Tampa, Florida. Winter baseball capital of the city. Okay, it lies across the bay from Tampa, Florida. Uh, I'm going to say what is um, what is St. Petersburg, Florida? St. Petersburg, Florida, yeah. I'll go with uh, American Cities for 200, please. Over 60% of the world's general aviation aircraft are built in this city. Kansas is largest. What is Wichita? I'd like to have um, American Cities for 300, please. From 1950 to 64, the population of this Alabama city skyrocketed from 16,000 to over 123,000. What is Huntsville? Huntsville, Alabama, yeah. We'll go with American cities for 400. A statue of Samuel Clemens stands in Riverview Park in this city on the Mississippi River. What is Hannibal, Missouri? That is right as well. Let's close out American Cities for 500, please. An Air Force base named for the Wright brothers and test pilot Frank Patterson is in this Ohio city. I have a little bit of an instinct on this one, but I'm going to hold back. Erica. Dayton, Ohio. And I was thinking that too. Uh. Oh, it's okay. Shake it off. Shake it off. New Hampshire for 100. Sergeant Preston of the Yukon would feel at home at the Derby in Laconia devoted to races of... These. What are sled dogs? It is not sled dogs, no. Oh well. Erica, it's just dog, it's dog sleds. It's not sled dogs, it's dog sleds. So I had him reversed. That's okay. Dickens, 100. This novel about Mr. Murdstone's stepson was released in monthly installments in 1849 and Dickens for 200, please. I have $1,000 again. A Tale of Two Cities is set during this historic event. Tale of Two Cities. I will say, what is the... Tale of Two Cities is set during this historic event. Uh... I know it has to do with London and Paris. Uh, 
I'm not sure, so I'll just say, I'll just say, what is the American Revolution? But I'm not sure. Really? Nope. It is set during the French Revolution. Oh, okay. That's all right. Eric is tied with me for the lead right now. Okay. Hollywood 100. Creator of Blazing Saddles who said, I stare at life through fields of mayonnaise. Who is Mel Brooks? I'll have Hollywood for 200, please. Master of Suspense, whose credo was always make the audience suffer as much as possible. Who's Alfred Hitchcock? I'll have Hollywood for 300, please. Epic director who claimed, give me any couple of pages of the Bible and I'll give you a picture. Who is Cecil B. DeMille? Hollywood 400. She said, every man I knew I had fallen in love with Gilda and wakened with me. Oh, Rita Hayworth. You are correct. New Hampshire 200. The state's white mountains are part of this larger chain. What are the Appalachians? You are correct. New Hampshire 300. A tall white species of this tree, once used to make Indian canoes, is New Hampshire's state tree. Oh, the white birch. I was thinking birch for some reason, but I probably would have had to say white birch in order for it to be right. Acceptable. It's the four-word ultimatum that serves as the state's motto. What is live free or die? New Hampshire for 500. From 1641 to 79, New Hampshire was ruled by this colony. What is Massachusetts? That is right. Up to $2,500. I'll take Dickens for, I guess, 300. Yeah. Smike might describe this novel he's in as S is wonderful and marvelous. Swonderful and marvelous. Hmm, Erica. Nicholas Nickleby. You are the mm -hmm. And next. 1854 novel about tough goings in the industrial city of Coketown. Oh, hard times. You are correct. Hard times. 
Little Dorrit has her own book, but little Nell's a character in the old shop of this kind. What is curiosity? That's $3,000 at this point in the game. I'll take Hollywood for 500 Algiers actress who said, Any girl can look glamorous, stand still, and look stupid. Hedy Lang, uh, Hedy Lamar. <laughs> City's 100. City that's home to Beatrice, Sears Roebuck, and the William Wrigley Jr. Company. What is Chicago? <laughs> we'll go City's 200, please. This French resort city is pronounced like your brother's daughter. What is Nice? I'll have cities 300. The CN Tower, the world's tallest freestanding structure, is located in this Canadian city. What is Toronto? City's 400. Answer there, the Daily Double. Out front with $3,600. I could risk any or all of it. All. Here's the clue in cities. This independent city state, a former British colony, is smaller than New York City. What is Singapore? That's the one. We'll have cities 500. Designed by U.S. architect Walter Griffin in 1911, it is Australia's largest inland city. What is Melbourne? Mm. Oh well. It's Canberra, the capital. <laughs> All right. Shakespeare addressed most of these poems to an unidentified nobleman, not to the dark lady. Sonnets. Oh, sonnets. Milton wrote about his own blindness as well as this biblical heroes. John. Nope. Oh, Samson, okay. You are correct. Thomas Hood saw the season in the Misty Morn. A witch named Cuddy Stark pulls a mare's tail off in his poem, Tam o Shanter. Uh 
Oh, it's Robert Burns. You are correct. Part one of his poem, The Wasteland, is entitled The Burial of the Dead. Oh, T.S. Eliot. So I have $6,700, Erica has $2,200, and John has $1,100. So he's going to go first in the round of... Let's go ahead and start playing. Two daily doubles, and we have these categories. You are the category. Famous folks, TV actor, reptiles, hodgepodge, gems and jewelry, and finally, middle names. Okay, we'll we'll stay with them. All right, let's go. Gems and jewelry for two hundred. Fashion plates in this country were once jewelry adorned with serpents, sphinxes, and scarabs. What is Egypt? You are correct. Gems of jewelry for 400. Daily double. I'm out front with that much money. How much do I want to risk? 3,100. For an even 10,000, here's the clue in gems and jewelry. Finest coral comes from this sea, especially off the coasts of Algeria and Tunisia. What is the Mediterranean? You are correct. And I have ten thousand dollars. Gems and jewelry for six hundred. This Turkish stone was sometimes worn as a charm to ward off illness. Erica. Turquoise. Yeah, turquoise. You are correct. Folksy actor has played Andy Thompson, Andy Sawyer, and Andy Matlock, as well as Ben Matlock, who is Andy Griffith. You are correct. Let's go back to Jim's and Jewelry for 800, please. Cartier paid $1.3 million to buy back some of the jewelry it made for the late Duchess of This. Nope. Sorry. It is the Duchess of Windsor. You are correct. John is right. The only U.S. state to which both alligators and crocodiles are native. What is Florida? You are correct. Gems and jewelry, 1,000. Most of the world's supply of diamonds comes from this continent. What is Africa? You are correct. The diamond rush from Africa. Could we have TV actors for 400, please? The other daily double. Uh, all. Emmy-winning actress who played Miss Jane Pittman, Martin Luther King's wife, and Kota Kintz's mother. Who is Cicely Tyson? You are the one. Yeah, buddy! No more daily doubles. TV actress for 600, please. Her best known characters are Man Hungry, Sue Ann Nimmons, and just plain Batty Rose Nyland. Who is Betty White? A TV actress for 800, please. 
Dallas Star, who now stars on Step by Step. Who is Patrick Duffy? And TV actress for a thousand, please. Sarah Gilbert, Melissa Gilbert's little sister, plays this woman's daughter on TV. Who is Roseanne? And that's going to put me over twenty-five thousand dollars. You are correct. Reptiles four hundred. Primary purpose of a reptile skin is to keep it from desiccating or losing this. What is water? You are correct. Let's go for 600 on reptiles. The glass snake is not really a snake, but a legless type of this reptile. What's a lizard? We'll go reptiles for 800, please. For snakes, the record for speed, not dancing, is said to be held by this deadly African snake. What is the mamba? And reptiles for 1,000. It's the branch of zoology that studies reptiles. What is herpetology? You are correct. Twenty-eight thousand dollars. We'll go to famous folks for two hundred. His real name was Eric Hilliard Nelson. Hilliard was his mother's stage name. Who is Ricky Nelson? We're getting a telephone call. I need to take it real quick. Oh, it's Aunt Becky. Uh, we'll we'll call back later. Famous folks for it. Most of the songs she sang on her Broadway album were written by Stephen Sondheim. Call from Beaver Fendi. Uh, who is uh, Barbara Streisand? You are correct. Six hundred. Uh, famous folks. Sorry about the phone ringing there. Jacqueline Carey Anassis was an editor of the singer's autobiography, Moonwalk. Who's Michael Jackson? You are correct. Let's have a uh, famous folks 800. Witness, star of Top Gun, witness in Top Gun, who now owns a restaurant in QS, Florida. Who is Kelly McGillis? You are correct. And we'll have famous folks for a thousand. And I'm at thirty thousand dollars, making it difficult for my opponents. Stedman Graham is her steady boyfriend. Who's Oprah Winfrey? We have $31,000 in cash right now. I'd like a hodgepodge for 200, please. In 1902, A.F. Callahan patented the first envelope with this feature, if you see what I mean. What is a window? You are the I'll have hodgepodge for 400, please. Known as the Robin Hood of Scotland, this outlaw's real name was Robert McGregor. Who is Rob Roy? You are correct. 600. The color found in only 80% of European national flags, but in 82% of African ones. 
What is green? I'll have a um, hodgepodge right here, please. In Spain, Christmas gifts are not given on January 6th, Three Kings Day, also known as this. It's Epiphany. Epiphany. John is up to $2,700 and he gets to make the next selection. Middle name is 200. Mark Twain's middle name before it became Mark Twain. What is Langhorn? A middle name for 400, please. Her father was Duke of York when she was given the middle names Alexandra and Mary in 1926. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> It is Queen Elizabeth the second. You are correct. Okay, Erica. Go ahead. Hallelujah. No matter how you pronounce it, this was Handel's middle name. What is Frederick? You are correct. We'll have middle names for a thousand. Or 800, I mean, excuse me, 800. Sorry. This 19th century British Prime Minister's middle name was Ewart. I don't know. William Gladstone. Okay. John has $3,100 and he makes the next selection as we continue. From grief for numbness, this condition shows sudden attacks of deep sleep. What is narcolepsy? And at thirty-four thousand dollars, we have one clue left for a thousand. Let's take a look at it, please. <coughs> Even Yankees should know this was Robert E. Lee's middle name. What is? Edward? You are so I have $35,000. John, 3100 Erica, 600 As we get ready for our final Jeopardy, let's look at the category. The category is Science. That was our final Jeopardy category in the first edition of Jeopardy for the Sega. Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and Los Alamos, New Mexico were by byproducts of this project. I'm going to say what's the Manhattan Project. And that is right. So I'm going to end up with $50,000 this game. Erica got it wrong, as did John. But I, on the other hand, got it right. There you have it. $50,000 in Jeopardy Deluxe for the Sega Genesis. We're going to wrap it up for our Thanksgiving Day special. I hope you've all enjoyed it. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your Thanksgiving. And I'll see you all for that next video coming soon.